hope the boat's gonna be alright. I think the boat will be alright. Wow. Whoa, there goes the car. Good morning, guys. It is like pretty early in the morning and we had a really hectic storm last night so we weren't even sure if we were going to go fishing but this is the first time we're going to head out off the coast of Gladstone so we're pretty excited today. Big boat's coming, let's get out on the water. Alright guys this is us, Port Curtis so Point Island, we're here going out this way. Cool. Nice big boat ramp, that's awesome. Someone else dropping in. Boat ramp looks amazing. Very cool. Gonna have to join the VMR. I think it's like a hundred bucks a year, so definitely worth it. Let's get this show on the road. down there. There's a nice arch on the down scan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I never hook up when you're filming, so you may as well put it down. <laughs> Fast one! I don't know what it is. Oh, it's got a micro jig on. I got an 80 gram I think. Hopefully it's not a mackerel. It's fairly close to the bottom so this will be my first fish here off Gladstone. Central Coast Queensland. How very exciting guys, we're not very far from where we dropped the boat in, we've just come out the front, found ourselves a wreck on the sounder, and I've got my first fish, we're only in like 22 meters of water I'm pretty sure, so oh here we go, little trevally, nice, I'll get the net. Croker? It's a little tea leaf. Oh, tea leaf. Right, yeah. Just get all the fruits. Cool bananas. A little tea leaf trevally. Got my 80 gram jig there. What a cutie. I won't say no to that. That's a little potty fish. Love it. Cool. Look how long his fins are. That is awesome. I suspect we're going to catch so many fish that I have no idea what they are. But this is a good species to start off on. You! Welcome to Central Queensland! Saddle this guy and we'll let him go. Yes. Little Rex hunt kiss there. <laughs> Let's send him back. See ya, buddy. Yeah. Let's go find some better reef. Pretty cool. So you downloaded that social map. Yeah. See. So it shows everyone's little depth of sounds. I don't know what boats marks. Oh, they're the marks of reef. I don't want to see So guys, these are our new Elite FS nines. We didn't go for the HDSs this time, so we just went for the Elites. And they seem to be pretty nice. We ended up putting a one kilowatt transducer on the back. Yeah. And yeah, so get to try these babies out really good because 
as you saw through the install, we'd only just installed these and haven't really been out since. So, yeah, be exciting to try them out, especially that one for what first use, and that'll be really good, handy up here. It's already making a difference. Yeah, it makes a massive difference. It's just a clearer image, it's not about the depth. Yeah, clearer image. So, we have the total scan, um, and it's just obviously not that amazing for out here in the ocean for us. And then we tried, what else did we say? The P77, was it? P66 we had P on the other boat. P66 we had on the other boat, which we had the um, HDSs. The number two K, but definitely got to go for the one for what can juicer for us. So yeah, something good so far. Still loving the Loran sounders, they're really good. Nice clear screen, these are probably out of date by now, but yeah, they're still good. A lot of coral spawn. We've just had a closed pinfish season or break, like a week, I think it was like five days. And I think they synchronized them with the coral spawning um, event. event. Yes, coral spawning event. So depending on the moons and all that. I'm still not 100% sure how it all works, it's all new to me, but yes, we had a closed event for five days and there's still heaps of coral spawn around, which is not abnormal. <laughs> yeah, so what's this? Rock Cod Shoal, just to the left of us. Seven meters, 17, 14, and then over here you've got seven, so it's still pretty deep, six meters. So just looking for some ground, a little bit of something down there. I wasn't recording. <laughs> nice, babe. How pretty is he? Whoop, whoop. He's pretty green. He came in pretty quick. He just pooped. Red throat emperor. I so think. Nice. I think? Yeah. But there's no red here. He's definitely a red throat. He's not a grass emperor. He's a red throat. Yeah, he's not a grassy, but there's heaps of different species. I'll put the pump on. Yeah. Bottom one? Bottom one here. Alright, going to double check exactly what he is and what size limit he needs to be and then we can keep him hopefully because you spend $400 on fuel and you definitely want to go home with some food so okay I will get back to you. 43. 43. 43. Wow he changed colour so quickly just then. He's gone dark. Yeah. Cool. Gun and the esky. Gun and the esky. Off. Yeah. So Dennis, I um, missed it on camera because I thought I pressed record. Dennis literally pointed to my shirt and went, oh, I want a cold trout like that. And then he got a hit. <laughs> so I missed all that, but he's a beautiful fish. And look where we are. So stunning. This is masthead. Um, you got green zone that side and then green zone that side over on that little K over there. But yeah, so this is sort of our closest island reef fishing spot, I guess. 
I don't know. Still got lots to learn. It's damn bright without my sunglasses on. Anyway, gotta keep fishing. Still working? Another little red fruit. He's a bit small, so he has to go. He's cute. He's gonna go back. Look, 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 look. Okay, I got a little cod over here. Very cute. Gulpies are working. Keep fishing, try and get something bigger. That was on the drop. I think it's another red throat. It's not as big as yours. I don't want to pull him out. Oh, yeah. Another 35er. Pretty. Get out of the sun. <laughs> Your little snouts are so cute. Yeah. I'm going to let this guy go, so. And keep fishing. My plastic was like the tail was bitten off it, so I just cut some legs into it, so I'm not sure if I'll get anything. It's still a, a gulp, it's still got flavour. But we'll see. I'll give it a, a couple of minutes. If not, I'll have to change it. Yeah, I don't think it's very big. I was just letting some line out. And it came up and got it. It's not very big. That's a little cod, that's why. I think that's a honeycomb cod. Tastes like honeycomb? No, but see the, the patterns on him? Yeah, it definitely looks like honeycomb. Yeah. Anyway, that's cool. What about that one? <laughs> oh! It's hard to wind with the camera. Yeah. They're not deep. Another small one. Oh, actually this one's probably... Nah, that's small. It's almost legal. It's, more, it's much bigger than the last one I just had. So pretty. Oh, he spat it. Nice. Surgery. And then it wakes up. No, I don't know what it is. It's another cod. It's one of those strikes. It's so ones. pretty. So pretty. Look at it, it's the same colour as him. Mm. It's not very deep. What is it? 10 metres? Maybe a keeper? No, a little bit small. Oh, that's a keeper, babe. Is it? Yeah. So pretty. I'm guessing 40. Oh, I don't know. He looks small. Just measure him. Look at his beautiful long yeah. nose. And there's that trademark red throat emperor. So pretty. Very, very cool. All right, let's put him over here and measure him. 38. 38. 38 is legal. Yeah. I'd like to keep at least two fish. So yeah. We're going to have to go soon, so this will be in the esky as well. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, our first ever day on the Southern Great Barrier Reef out here in central Queensland off Gladstone. We've got a lot to learn about this area. Like we've never fished here before, so we've got so much learning to do, which is kind of cool, something new to do for us. But yeah, fun day on the water, exploring some red throat emperor and a few other species there. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share the video around, and you'll see more of me here on the Great Barrier Reef. All right, guys, I'll see you again later. Mm -hmm.